What's up guys, it's Missy. I'm back with another SimCity build a video I told you guys that I would update you on how it's going for me to unlock the VU Pass. So, before we begin, hit that like and subscribe button. Join us on Facebook at SimCity Build It, Missy NYT. Anytime you guys can advertise my channel is much appreciated. Now, I told you guys, a lot of you guys, that I was going to be trying to unlock the VU Pass Level 3 uh, to kind of see how hard it is for an average war player, not you know, a competitive war player with a lot of war card upgrades. So for me, most of my cards are between levels five and like seven. Okay, as you can see here, like this. So the first war I went through and it went, you know, uh, really well. I unlocked the U Pass level one and two oops, within the first war, which was, I think right around 60 or 70,000 points was what I had uh, to unlock those two. On the second war was when I started the new contest of mayor's guide for you guys, and that took a lot of my time. So for those of you guys who are playing com competitively using the low and high level technique, there is a new guide out there for you and all new videos. You're definitely going to want to watch them. They have a lot of really informative content and uh, definitely a new kind of outlook on the way you guys should be comprehending how to rotate since a lot of you guys are having trouble okay so like i said i am through vu pass level one and two on just like i said sixty thousand points so how did i do that so quickly with my war cards being only level five well basically all i really did honestly was uh i stocked up on war items obviously and then i went through my war attacks and the ones that yielded the best uh points values for energy I went ahead and I would launch a jackpot and then I would hit for as many points as I could and then I would pump my energy up and I would just shield bust and keep doing that as many times as I could within one jackpot now that went relatively easy actually um the first like I said the first war was super easy as I started to get depleted on you know war items and stuff being that I have all five regional maps unlocked and I have every item in the game unlocked it did start to eat away at my coins I do have some uh war simoleons now for me it was beneficial to buy certain war items from here rather than doing the war shipments because those are ridiculously expensive and I wasn't really getting hit a lot the first war. The second war, I was getting hit quite a bit. But like I said, I was too busy working on the comm guide to really do anything. So highly recommend for those of you guys who are trying to unlock the VU Pass that you use your energy pumps, your jackpots, and that you try to get hit from the opposing team as much as you can so that you can repair as much as possible. And that way you get cheap war items. And even if you have to taunt them with like a... a um, a message in the description i know a lot of people will put something like try to shield me if you can i bet you can't and it antagonizes them and they just constantly hit you um also be aware that if you are going to do energy pumps and you're going up against a really competitive team that they will likely vamp you and in that case you would want to use an energy pump three and then vamp yourself with a level one vamp and that way you don't get vamped with a level three vamp on a level three energy pump and have it be completely useless at least you get something out of it okay um, that's about it. Don't really attack unless you're attacking on a jackpot. Use your, your, uh, war simoleons as needed for hard to get war items. I didn't really use any that cost ammo because that's ridiculously expensive. And the only war items that I really bought were like hydrants and, uh, propellers, you know, this megaphones, the stuff that's kind of hard for me to obtain. I can usually get ducks and plungers boots pretty easily, but those three are, are the more difficult ones. Okay, so uh, that's pretty much where I'm at with that. So I will keep you guys updated on VU Pass 3 this week.